Christopher Sanchez, similar to Ranger in a lot of respects, but not as polished. He needs to command his fastball early to help with his excellent changeup. He's been using a cutter since spring training. He started to incorporate that some, but generally goes to his slider more than that as his breaking ball. There's a looper into left field. It's a base hit. Missed with the changeup there, and Ezekiel jumped on it. Rocky's going to lead off, batter on. There goes Tovar, and it's bounced to through the left side. It went right past Alec Bohm. Tovar will get to third. Immediately that was called an error on Alec Bohm. He just flat whiffed on it. I don't know how you give an error. You make any contact with the baseball. But either way, it is first and third. No one out for the Rockies. Swing and a miss. He got him. Throw him another changeup. Back-to-back changeups. And McMahon, who came in with 11 two-strike hits, doesn't pick one up there. That'll bring up Elias Diaz, who is DHing tonight, their regular catcher. And he puts it in play to short. That'll get a run home. Good job by Diaz. So the Rockies score first for just the second time in 19 games this year. Swing and a miss. He got him. That's a slider. Second strikeout. So he gets a strikeout on the changeup and a slider. Feltner, three starts this year, an ERA of 3.38. Yeah, and Feltner's last two starts have really been building blocks. Schwarber 0 for 7 in the series. And that one is drilled deep to right center field. It is gone. Number 250 for Kyle Schwarber. And the Phillies have tied this game up at one. Well, that's one way of tying this baby up. He now has two more leadoff home runs than Mookie Betts for the most in baseball the last three seasons. Trey Turner follows. He hits one deep. This is going to be back to back. And the Phillies have taken the lead. They do so before Schwarber even puts his helmet away. Trey Turner, his second home run of the year. It's a 2-1 ball game. Well, you talked about the Rockies not scoring early in the games as far as taking leads, and they, they had a lead. They had a celebration. It just didn't last very long. Opposite way, there's a base hit for JT. Four-game hitting streak for Real Muto. Alec Baum coming up. Baum hitting 237 with a homer. And 10 runs batted in. Line drive down the right field line. Tulia's on the run. He's not going to get it. Hits off the base of the wall. It takes a Phillies roll. Rounding third is JT. Here's the throw to the plate. Score standing. Three to one. Phils RBI double for Baum. Well, how about the way everything's fallen for the Phillies in this first inning? Kyle, Trey, and now Alex. They, they, these balls are squared up pretty good. And Brandon Marsh is the batter. Brandon's numbers, four home runs, nine runs batted in. Hitless in this series. Rolls that one through the hole on the right side of base hit. Here comes Baum. There will not be a throw to the plate. It's 4-1 to one Phillies. RBI number 10 for Marsh. 4-1 to one now. Phillies lead it here in the first inning. Oh. Yeah, buddy. And I like to see this. We begin the third. Jacob Stallings will lead it off. Change up through the left side. And Jacob Stalling continues to throw out hits when he gets starts. Oh, man. That oh, is just a nasty pitch. Him. Strikeout number four. Change up there. Tovar down on strikes. Swing and a miss. Five strikeouts for Christopher Sanchez. Christopher Sanchez will go to work. He'll do so against Montero. Swing and a miss. That's another strikeout. Six strikeouts for Christopher Sanchez. And a strike three call. Beautiful pitch on the inside part of the plate. Little two-seamer, seven strikeouts for Christopher Sanchez. Swing and a miss. He's got it dancing now. Eight strikeouts through four innings for Sanchez. Bryson Stott batting eighth tonight for Rob Thompson. Pitch swing and a miss. Ryan Feltner gets his third strikeout on his changeup and strikeout number five overall. Swung on and miss. Feltner again utilizing that changeup. Six strikeouts for Feltner. Bottom of the fifth inning, four to one Phillies. Ryan Feltner gets back to work. Trey Turner leading it off. That one's hooked down left field line. It is off the base of the wall and Turner's on his way to second. He's going to have his third hit of the night. He's a triple away from the cycle. Broke his bat, ground ball softly right side. Off the glove of the second baseman, Treo. Over to third goes Turner. So first and third, the infield in halfway. JT is one for two. A roller right side, diving stop made by Montero. Flips to first in time to get JT a run scores. It's 5-1 Phillies. Either way, JT gets an RBI. It's his seventh of the year. Well, Christopher Sanchez, his ERA is down to 2.66 as he begins the top of the sixth inning. 
Pitch is hit sharply towards third. Backhand pick on a hop by Bohm. He'll fire it across. There's a nice pickup. The 0 1 on the way. Swing and a high bouncer. Back of the mound. Sanchez off the hill. Fields fires. Got him. What a job tonight by Christopher Sanchez. He's had base runners in every inning. Swing and a miss. He just matched his career high with 10 strikeouts. And a 1 2 3 sixth inning. His first 1 2 3 inning of the night. The 0 1 to Rojas. That one's hit out toward left center field. Pretty well hit. On the run is Doyle. It is off the giant side. And Rojas will stop at second. He's there standing. That was one of the best swings he's had this year. So Feltner goes five and a third. Peter Lambert will be on board. The count is one ball, one strike to Schwarber, who is homer tonight. And he drills that one to deep right field. He's homer again. A multi home run game. He has hit two absolute. Bullets tonight. Five home runs, 7 1 Phillies, six extra base hits tonight. He smoked that pitch. Yes, he did. No doubt about it. Second multi home run game this season by a Philly. Harper had the first. Schwarber now with five home runs total. 110 up the bat. Now Gregory Soto will take over for Junior Marte as we go to the eighth inning. That will be a hit. There's no way they can call that an error. This is deep in the hole, and the throw to first isn't going to get back, so he earns a base hit, his second of the night. And that will drop. Stopping at third is Doyle. He had to make sure that one didn't reach Castellanos. So three straight singles, three Gregory Soto, no one out, and Montero is coming up. This is line to right. Castellanos makes the catch, and Doyle will dive head first in a home plate and it's seven to two on the sack fly. Three and two on the San Diego native, Sean Bouchard. And Sean, for the second time, has walked. That'll load the bases. Ball four. Tolia walks and that forces in a run. It's seven to three. So the tying run is coming to the plate and it's going to be Hoffman that'll come in. So this is the Rockies moment trying to snap a four game slide. Charlie pulls it and it's knocked down at first by Harper. He'll get it out as a run scores. 3 2 bounces up there and the bases are loaded once again. The Rockies in the previous 37 innings had scored only two runs. They have three here in the eighth. They need more. And now the bases are loaded for Tovar. This is pulled through the hole, a base hit for Tovar. Here comes Tolly to the plate. Ezekiel Tovar coming through. The Rockies are within one. The start of the eighth inning, I don't think anybody thought this would be a safe situation, but we got it. Now it's Jose Alvarado who will look to close it out. Two outs here in the ninth. Popped up. Stott is under it. He says he's got it, and he does. And it's their first sweep of the 2024 season.